Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. <laughs> Look at your face. We are going to tell you about a 19-year-old Egyptian student who just patented a new form of space propulsion based on quantum physics. Ishi Mustafa decided to use one particular nugget of quantum physics. Now, we were curious what quantum physics actually is, uh, so we looked it up. Quantum physics is time travel. Not true. Quantum physics is the study of alien life Not forms. Not true. Quantum physics is like someone poured acid on your brain. Nailed it. In other words, it's the study of space on a microscopic level. So there you go. It also kind of suggests that everything we see is about perception in the field of probability. Those are words I just said. Good words. Here's some more words. Another little tidbit of quantum theory suggests that the universe is filled with particles and antiparticles that destroy each other instantly. Like there are infinities, okay, there's the infinity between like one and a bajillion, like one in that infinitely large number. But there's also an infinity between moments. Like this, that was a moment, but then there's like a half that moment and then half that moment, and it keeps going and going and going for infinity. And it's those particles in those moments that Mustafa wants to use to power spacecrafts. In other words, no more fuel. If spacecrafts can harness the power of space, that would be like cars running on air. To explain this further requires a basic knowledge of quantum physics, which we don't really have. You wanna hear about crocodiles? No. So, here's an excerpt that might make more sense, or not, I don't know, I'm just gonna read some words. Mustafa invented a way of tapping this quantum effect via what's known as the dynamic Casimir effect. This uses a moving mirror cavity where two very reflective, very flat plates are held close together and then move slightly to interact with the quantum particle C. It's horribly technical, but the end result is that Mustafa's use of shaped silicone plates similar to those used in solar power cells results in a net force being delivered. What they're saying is that there's these two plates and they get as close to each other as physically possible and then they, they pop like the micro, 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 microscopic particles. They have to be mirrors. Then they got to, you know, mirrors. So you can so you take so mirrors. So little you... particles can see the other little particles. They think it's the antiparticle, but it's like, it's themselves. Yeah. And they're like, ah. It's close, and then they go, pew. And then right? the, the rocket ship goes, pew. Bottom line, this could potentially fix a huge problem, which is those huge freaking rockets that use a crap ton of fuel. In space, you don't need horsepower because there's no roads and all it takes is a little bit of a push and off you go because it's a vacuum or a non-vacuum if you want to get technical. We don't. We don't want to get technical. We're not physicists. Would you like to hear about crocodiles now? No. Because that. Oh. Nope. Is skip. So, as it stands, Mustafa needs more funding for her project, and her professors and staff at the university are so excited that they helped her file for a patent. That's nice. Yeah. They probably put their names on it. So, question time. If you could explain quantum physics in 10 words or less, let us know what those 10 words or less would be in the comments section down below. And after you're done doing that, please like and subscribe to our stuff. That would be great. And then click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to check out the five videos of the day or all the videos from the past days, which are, you know, there yeah. for your enjoyment. This has been Physics with... Joe and Elliot. Has it? No.